relationships with my daughters but from Bobby's perspective and my perspective what has made our relationship successful even from childhood growing up I never had any major problems with my girls as far as attitudes and talking back and stuff like that never so I would like to hear Bobby's perspective first and then I'll um, either it'll either be the same but we wrote a list to try to keep so Bobby's gonna go first what I thought you were going first no age before beauty <laughs> so I you would go first no young age <laughs> and so i don't know what she has written so it's gonna be interesting and she doesn't know what i wrote mine from a parent's perspective I, she has written her list from a child's perspective i'm an adult Okay, she, I'm she, she 21 now, y'all. She's 21, I'm but 21. we have never had any major. I think Bobby, from when she was little, she may have had one spanking. Maybe one. You hit me? You got a pow pow. <laughs> I don't know why, but I think you got one and I felt terrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, yeah, I will say that we've had a great relationship. My whole life my grown age of 21 when I say any of this this is just I'm not talking about anybody else's parenting and like other people's relationships but just yeah so it's based on her and I yeah my first one that I wrote down is that um my mom she kind of she is very supportive of us like she's not a I don't want to say belittler, but oh, like no. you like, if we were to make a decision that you wouldn't want us to make, like you aren't, like you let us make our mistakes mm -hmm. and you're supportive of whichever way we may choose and you don't like force us to do one way. Because I do know in some like parent-child relationships, you have the parents who might be more like, oh, she's also not a helicopter mom and I think that's great. Mm -hmm. um, I think in some of those relationships like some kids will start to maybe um what's the word rebel yeah or like their their relationship with their parents might not be as great or as strong because they feel as though their parents were so overbearing and so controlling she's also not controlling of us like like i said she lets us make the mistakes that we make and because that's what life is about is learning from your mistakes if but some kids need, uh, I guess, more guidance than others. I just had easier kids to deal with versus someone else may have. So it has worked for, for this. Okay, right. so. Um, sorry, sorry, I'm gonna speed it up. Um, I also think that we have a good relationship in the sense of like, my mom is not my friend, but I don't know. I feel like we have that good balance. You know what I'm trying to say? Exactly. I don't know how to explain it, but. Um, you're my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I think as, um, of course, as the kids have gotten older, mm -hmm. you know, the dynamics of the relationship has changed. Mm -hmm. But I answer that same thing. I hit that too. Yeah. It's like, we definitely still know our place, but, mm -hmm. you know, I can always talk to my mom about anything and not feel as though I have to keep anything from her. Uh, I think I mentioned this earlier, but like, you're very, you're very open and like, like it's not your way or the highway oh, kind no. of thing mm -hmm. um and then i think that another like this is maybe not <clears throat> less of what has made our relationship successful but i think you've made a lot of sacrifices for us and like you do you do <laughs> you do everything for us oh my god it's a horse mm -hmm. um look only in texas y'all only in texas Are the police officers riding around on horses here? 
Um, I'm not sure what she is though. Anyways, um, and I, I think that you're just a great mom overall, and like it's not like a, I don't know. I just know some like parents who are just so like overbearing and controlling, and like mm -hmm. you feel like I don't know, like Jay. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And oh. I have a fun mom too. I have a fun mom. And like I said, this is just, it works for, you know, yeah. my family, but it could be different, you know, depending on your child as well. So my let's go, I'm not gonna hold you too long, but I kind of mentioned everything that she mentioned. Um, my thing, I got a long list y'all. I said I was not a helicopter mom. I said that too. And sometimes some kids need a helicopter mom. If mm -hmm. you giving your mom a reason not to trust you, they got a clink clink you know so i think it also goes both ways and that could work against you if you're not a helicopter mom but i was not i have time for all that um i was open to discussions with my children i was also a good listener um it wasn't like she said my way or the highway no they're their own people so i allowed them to make choices and decisions and had them think about things when they went through stuff so what do you think what do you think you should do you know it, it wasn't oh you should do such and such like for example recently bobby had an incident with a little boyfriend well her boyfriend i just i did not say well you need to leave or you need he should no okay it's it's whatever you decide i'm gonna support you either way even if i don't agree you have to learn from your experiences that's the only way for her to learn on my children and as a mom i learned to pick my battles I didn't feel as though I always had to be in control and be, you know, the headmaster. You you listen to me. No, everything is not always a fight. I don't have to do, um, assert my dominance on everything. That wasn't important for me. Some people are very controlling. That's just who they are in nature. That wasn't my way of raising my children. That's just not who I am as an individual at all. I wasn't their friend but I was their friend to a certain degree. <laughs> I would say it was more like 60, 70, 30, like mom, a little bit of friend. So I was a combination, it was a good balance. Whereas, and it was, it was a good balance where I was a little bit of both. And then uh, I'm a silly mom, I think I'm funny. And then I would always love to play from when they were little hide and seek <laughs> where I was scared them all the time. <laughs> One time she did get mad at me because <laughs> I think I scared her. She was in the shower or something, <laughs> and I scared you so bad you you scratched your face or something. You got her. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> and I was never judgmental. I never belittled them or anything like that. Even when I was having issues with their dad, I never spoke bad about their dad. That came a little more when they were older, but I allowed my children to learn who their dad was on their time. I didn't poison their minds at all. They saw things for themselves. And I didn't really curse around my children, not that that means anything, but I wasn't a big cursor. I never cursed them out. Mm -mm. So it was just, it was a good balance of not being very controlling being a little bit of their friend, but they knew, they knew who, who mom was or when I was, you know, being a little firmer with certain things, always supportive, tried to get them involved and everything, made a lot of sacrifices and the kids sort of sacrifices that I made. So I guess it all depends on your children. Mm -hmm. And so my girls, <laughs> Clinton, my son, he gave me, he <laughs> gave me the biggest headache. Not that I was trying to control Clinton, but he was so far to the left that I think I put more energy into Clinton and tried to support him more, get him involved in stuff more, save up money so he could go on trips. So I was still trying to find a way to connect with him. It wasn't always just, mm -mm -mm. I, I did try. But there are some kids, you may have a Clinton, you may have a Bobby and Sydney, my other daughter. Bobby's name is B-O-B-B-I. -B Sydney is S Y D N I, so both their names end with the I. We, I didn't, we didn't know what to name Bobby when she was born, and I think I mentioned this in another video. So we gave Bobby. Bobby's name is part of her dad's name, which is Robert, but his mom would call him Bobby San. 
he's half Japanese. So Bobby's grandmother is Japanese. And so we was like, oh, Bobby. And I like um, names that can either be boy, unisex names that could be boy or girl. So Bobby, and I was like, oh, yeah, her middle name could be Joy. Both ending with an I. My name does not end with the I. It's the original J-O-Y. Okay. And so Bobby Joy, Bobby Val. I was just, that sounds fly. And what do people ever say about your name, Bobby? People always, people always love my name. They say, um, it seems like my name should be like in lights, like I should be a famous mm -hmm. person or something. Mm -hmm. um, people always talk about my name. So Bobby, did I hit everything on my list? It was I, I feel like ours were pretty close. They were very close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you have any suggestions or, I mean, we all parent different. This is no shade yeah. on anybody's parenting style or anything. I'm just sharing why my relationship with my children have been successful so it wasn't all um you're you staying at child's place you listen no it wasn't that mm -mm. Mm -hmm. i listen to my children because they're their own people they have their own thoughts they have their own dreams you know not just mine you have to allow children to make mistakes and this is for my kids to make mistakes and learn from those mistakes and their decisions even if their decisions you do not agree with you know like Clinton, ooh, I did have to tighten a little with Clinton, but you know, we still laughed, we still got along. It wasn't like, I hate you. But when he started doing things when he was a little older, it was just like, you know, certain things that I wouldn't be supportive of. And maybe people have kids like that. You doing something where you look like it's going down the wrong path. Then you try to bring it in a little more, but he still had to live his life. and. People gravitate to what they're gonna gravitate to. And when they get older, they still gravitate to that. They're like, oh, well, that, that's who you are. I'm not gonna stress myself out. And I remember Clinton made me so angry one day when he was much younger. He made me so angry. I thought I was going to have a stroke. I had to lie down for several hours because my head started pounding. I said, I love you, but I don't love you more than I love myself. I never, never, gave him a spanking ever again yeah I wasn't big on um, hitting my kids but Clinton he got the most spankings but that day where I was so angry I said nah it's not even worth it mm -mm. so I was a takeaway parent I became a takeaway parent a lot of parents they spoil spare the rod spoil the child okay okay I guess I spoiling my kids because I'm not hitting you know hitting 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 no that just what that didn't work for me as a parent I just wasn't the thing and look I have two amazing daughters Clinton is doing amazing um I just have great relationships with my children and that's what has worked for me but you have to do what you feel as though that works for you but to have one of my kids baby talk bad to me curse me out and say not in this lifetime not in this lifetime you better not and like have one of my kids say i hate you i know you a lie that's almost like cursing me out i think i would have been in I, they would have been in foster care i don't play that you know you don't disrespect me respect is a big thing for me and i always taught my children to be kind and to be kind to other people always always be nice to other people because they won't remember what you did necessarily or what you gave them whatever but they will always remember how you you made them feel mm -hmm. bullying never tolerate <laughs> now i'm surprised to hear about that little story bobby said she tied one of her little friends to a tree or something you remember that yes it's in the video That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any other things that you have done that have created a successful relationship with your children leave it in the comment section below and a lot of times i wish i could have done more for my children but you know i do the best i can when i know and more importantly i think this is the most important part is that my mother was easy with me so she was easy with me and i also think it's learned behavior my mother was cool she was easy going she was um allowed me to make mistakes and so on and so forth she allowed me to experience life and to learn from those experiences so i guess the fruit doesn't fall far from the tree i think that's what it, it stems from mainly my mother but you know we we do what we what we're taught and what we learn as we go along and sometimes i think some things need to change times have changed our children have changed
Are you video? All right, y'all, so um, leave your comments below and let us know what you think and what are some strategies that um, work for you and your children, leave them below. And until next time, later. See, I gotta give y'all the good side. <laughs> Giving the dimple side, Bobby. <laughs> you only got one dimple? Oh, just one. Uh, her dad just has one deep dimple. Mm -hmm.